Super Mayhem. Coming up on this episode of Super Mayhem. What the heck? Have you lost your head, mate? Look at me go! No turbo loss for me! Is that Bill Clinton doing a super dunk? Am I doing a super dunk? All this and more, so stay tuned. Hello friends, it's Tim here from Super Mayhem. Oh! And boy howdy, do we have some fun game hacking action for you today. In this addition to our Game Genie hijink series, we're going to take a look at that first good basketball game ever released, NBA Jam. And well, do we have a few neat tricks up our sleeves with this one. For some reason, certain hacks only work with certain versions of the game, so if you're a Patreon member, I will be adding downloads for both of the versions used in this video for you to check out. So if you like basketball, video games, or game hacking in general, then please do hit that like button and try to get us to at least 30 likes. Subscribe if you are new and don't forget to ring that bell. And with all that said, on to the show. Easing into our hacking journey, we will take a look at the two-line code that is D6E2-CFC8 plus D6E9-CD18. And it is actually a pretty darn good one. With this bad boy in place, you will always be on fire, which not only gives the basketball that sweet fiery effect, it also increases your chance of scoring, even from half court or somewhere ridiculous. Interestingly, this game also makes note of your game cheats when you start off a game. So in this example, we can see power up fire is shown just before the tip off of the game. So that's something new I've seen in my Game Genie adventures. You can actually also get this same effect without using the Game Genie. When you are on the Tonight's Matchup screen, press the B button 7 times, and then the Up button, Y button, and also the B button until the game starts. So that's pretty cool too. There are other codes relating to being on fire, such as D0BD-3038, which needs 4 baskets to be on fire, all the way to DCBD-3038, which requires 10 baskets to be on fire. There is even a code that is D4BD-3038, which only needs two successful shots to be on fire, and you will stay on that status until your opponent goes on fire. So that's a lot of on fires, but there isn't a whole lot else to say about these codes, except they exist and can help or hinder you. For this next cheat, I had to get the European version of this game for some reason, but it was worth it. If you enter the two-line game genie code that is D6EC-CF38, plus D6E4-CDC8, you will be able to see what percentage chance a shot has of going in. This is only for non-dunks, but it is pretty cool to be able to see what kind of chance you have of hitting that shot as you shoot it. Also, hee <laughs> hee 69! This is a cool little addition to have going when you play NBA Jam for sure. Again with this code you can activate it without using a Game Genie. At the Tonight's Matchup screen, press any button once and then hold down B and A until the tip off. Once again, I couldn't get this working with the US version of the game, so maybe I just have a weird revision or something. This next code seems to be a bit dependent on if you are the visiting team or the home team. If you enter in BBCC-0F6F as your code, in my demonstration, every time I score a basket, whether it's a shot, a dunk or even a three-pointer, I was only given one point. This code claims that the visitors' baskets are worth one, so I'm a little bit unsure if I was playing as the visiting team or not. This code goes on all the way to 3ACC-0F6F, which gives visitors baskets a massive 8 points per successful shot. And man is this fun. In the first quarter it was 72-18 to 18 in my favour. Man, I really love Game Genie hacks. If you wanted to mess with your mate or a sibling, then these codes are definitely for you, so give them a go. On the flip side, if you want to screw over the other team, then you can try the code BBC6-A7AF, which will make it so the home team, aka your opponents, only score one point per basket, even if they smash a three-pointer from half court. I am assuming this would also work in two-player mode, so again, you can have some fun with this bad boy. This code also goes all the way up to 3AC6-A7AF, which will give your home team eight points per basket. So if you want to set yourself a bit of a task, you could try giving this one a go and see how you can compete. Next up we have turbo related codes, and man there are a lot of them. Starting off, we have Turbo Restores Extremely Fast, which is the code 6FE1-3C2A, which is actually quite handy. However there is a two line code for the European version of the game, that is D6E3-C748 plus D6E1-6F38. And with this bad boy in play, everyone has infinite turbo! Your boots have never been shinier as you can just hold down the R button, 
and run around like you're a chicken without its head, or until your heart is content, or until a shot clock gets you. It's super fun to just push down people as much as you want, but maybe I'm just a basketball bully though. This cheat can also be done by pressing any button six times and then holding Y, B and A until the match starts at the tonight's matchup screen. Other than that, we have Turbo goes down slower, Turbo doesn't come back until next quarter, Turbo goes down faster, Turbo goes down even faster, Turbo recovers even slower, and a whole heap of other Turbo-related codes that either help or hinder you. So there isn't a lot much more to say about this one in particular, other than they do exist and do things with your Turbo meter. And did I mention Turbo? It's a good or a bad thing. Moving on from the fun of Turbo draining, we will take a look at the two-line code D8E6-C7C8 plus D8ED-6418, which unlocks the intercept power-up. Basically, this gives all the players the ability to steal or intercept the ball super easily. This can get a bit hectic with players constantly changing control of the ball, or sometimes even just dropping it. But hey, it is fun and I managed to get 13 steals by halftime with just one player. Apparently, you can also unlock this cheat without a game genie by waiting until the tonight's matchup screen and then press any button 15 times and holding down on the 15th press, all whilst rotating the directional pad clockwise. However, I think a Game Genie is a bit easier than all that nonsense. If you find the regular game speed a bit slow, then you might want to try the two-line cheat code D6ED-3DC8 plus D6E5-C718, which gives you what is called Juice Mode. This speeds up the entire game a lot, and you really zoom around the court especially if you use that famous turbo button. Apparently this also could be unlocked by beating all of the 27 NBA teams, or by pressing the A button 13 times and then hold B and X at the tonight's matchup screen. But just give it a go, it's super fun. There are also several cheats you can use without the Game Genie to play as different celebrities and other people. A couple of quick examples are as follows. Enter in your initials as NE, highlight the letter T, and then press L, R, and A all at the same time. If you do this correctly, you will have just unlocked Al Gore as your first playable character. And man, I must say, old Al has some serious dunking moves. Look at him go! Another classic example is entering your initials as A and R, highlighting the letter K, and then do a hand-bending combination of pressing Start, L, R, and X all at once. If you do this right, you can now play as Bill Clinton. We now hear live from Schmermagur with the story. Hello, my darling. It's me here, Schmelmagur, and I am courtside here in the Thunderdome type thing, and you won't believe what is happening down here. Playing for the Chicago Bulls is I'm Mr. Bill Clinton, and oh my god is he having some serious relations with his balls. He is doing the dunking from the left, dunking it from the right, and also from a great height. But oh my god, he has just looked at me seductively, and I'm going to have to get out of here as quickly as I can be doing so. So back to you, my darling. Thank you, Mr. McGurr. That's right, I never knew Bill was a Chicago Bulls fan, but here you have it. And damn, Slick Willy has some serious moves as well. To be fair, I think these celebrities just take on the skills of the player they are replacing, but far out, these dunks are insane! There are a number of other players you can unlock, but this being an older game and me being an Australian, I don't really know of them, so we will just move on. And finally, we will leave you with the Game Genie code EE38-67AF which is quite hilarious. For some reason, when this bad boy is in action, the main player for each team is Headless. That's right, see it for yourself. Headless bodies are just running around playing basketball, dunking, stealing, three-pointering. It is the game like usual, only they don't have heads. Weird. Anyway, that's it for today, my friends. I do hope you enjoyed taking a look at these NBA Jam hacks on the SNES with me. If you did, then please do hit that like button to see if we can get to at least 30 likes. Subscribe if you are new, and don't forget to ring that bell. Also, I'm bringing back the Luigi clap for the best comment made on a video. So for you watching, my question is this. Who or what would you like to see do a Super Dunk in NBA Jam? Leave your reply below, and the best, most interesting comment will be featured in one of the next videos. And if you really like the mayhem and what I do, why not check out our join button or our Patreon page below to help support future videos, get behind the scenes sneak peeks, early video releases, downloads, and even have your name featured at the end of each video. And with all that said, I'll catch you soon.